Welcome back. Today we are going to be going over Lesson 33, Session 3. We are on page 727 of our Volume 2 Math Book. And this lesson is Develop Sorting Shapes Based on Angles. So in our last lesson, we went over the different types of shapes. And so this one, we're going to sort them into different categories based on the types of angles they have. A classroom computer game shows a set of categories and a set of shapes. The player puts each shape in the correct category. Draw a line from each shape to the category it belongs in. So we have an acute only, so that means the shape only has acute angles. Right only, which means it only has right angles. Acute and right, or acute and obtuse. So first we need to go through and we need to figure out what type of angles each of our shapes has. All right, so I'm going to label my obtuse angles with an O and my acute angles with an A, and right angles will have a little square. So this right here is obviously a small angle, so it's acute, but this one's a bigger one, so it's obtuse. We have another acute and obtuse. This right here, this is probably an acute angle, I would say. This one is an obtuse angle, acute and obtuse. This is an acute angle. That one's labeled with a right angle. This is an acute angle. On D, we've got an acute angle, an acute angle, an acute angle. On E, we've got an acute angle, an acute angle, an obtuse angle, and an obtuse angle. And on F, you can see that we have four right angles. So on this one, we have acute and obtuse, so we're going to draw a line from it to acute and obtuse. Again, we have acute and obtuse. On this one, we have acute and right angles. On this one, we have all acute angles. On this one, again, we have acute and obtuse. And on our rectangle, we have all right angles. And so that is how we solve this problem on page 727. Let's go to page 728. Okay, on 728, it gives us the same problem. Down here at the bottom, it shows us that we, again, we can use a piece of paper or an index card to measure the angle. If we put that piece of paper on one of the bottom lines and the angle is as you can see, way out over here, then obviously that's an acute angle. But if we line that same piece of paper up on a different angle and we can't see it all at all, see how we couldn't see that one because it was behind the paper, then that would make it an acute angle. Down here it shows how they labeled it by drawing A and O for acute and obtuse, just like how we did. And that's how it helped them solve which angles go in which places for that problem. We are going to skip this one because it just kind of reiterates what we already have learned about, so we're going to go ahead and move on to page 730. On 730 it says, which of these groups does the rhombus below belong in? Acute angles only, obtuse angles only, right angles only, both acute and obtuse angles are both right and obtuse angles. Explain. So first, let's label the angles. If we need to, we can use this index card here. And when I line it right up in the corner, I see that my angle is bigger, so I know that's obtuse. But if I turn it and put it on this one right here, I can see that I can't see my angle, so it's acute. This one, again, is obtuse, and this one is acute. So this one would go in both acute and obtuse angles. And it would go in there because it has two acute angles and two obtuse angles. 
Number seven, circle the shape that has an acute angle, a right angle, and an obtuse angle. So let's go through and label these. This rectangular is gonna have all right angles, so I'm gonna make the little square in them. The shape, this would be acute, acute, obtuse, obtuse. Ooh, right here, th this one definitely looks like a right angle. Let me get my paper here and check it. Yep, that's a right angle. Let's check this angle up here. Ooh, I think this one is going to be barely an obtuse angle. Because see how it's kind of going up like that? So we're going to label that one obtuse. That's definitely an obtuse angle, but this is definitely an acute angle. So it says it wants to have a shape that has all three types of angles. Well, this one's right only. This one's acute and obtuse, so it would be this shape right here. These shapes below have been sorted into two groups based on their angles. Explain how the shapes could have been sorted. Well, first, let's go ahead and um, determine their angles. So this one, right, right. Right, this is acute and acute, 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 obtuse, obtuse, acute, obtuse, acute, obtuse, acute, obtuse, and acute. So this one is pretty easy to see that it is acute and obtuse angles. But this one over here is a little bit harder to determine because this one has all right angles. And then this one over here, it has two acute angles and one right angle. So I would maybe say for this one, since they both have right angles, um, a group that says at least one right angle possibly. You might come up with something different, but that is what I would go with because that seems like the simplest solution. All right, let's go ahead and turn to page 731. If you feel like you're getting the hang of this, go ahead and complete pages 700 and 731 and 732 on your own. And when you're finished, come back and check your answers to see how you did. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So on this first problem, it says we're on page 731. Write the number of acute, right, and obtuse angles for each pentagon shown in the table below. So first, let's go ahead and label these. Those are both right angles, but this is obtuse, obtuse, and acute. Oh, this one's pretty close. We're gonna have to check it. Let's line it up on one side. And you see there that it is bigger. So obtuse, 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 and obtuse. So in our chart here, this one has one acute, two right angles, and two obtuse angles. This one has zero acute, zero right, and two obtuse angles. Okay. Now, it says explain how these pentagons are different based on their angles. So, the X pentagon, which is this one, has all three angle types. Pentagon Y only has obtuse angles. All right, let's turn to page 732. Okay. On 732, it says, tell whether each shape belongs in the group described. All right angles, well, it's a rectangle, so yes, it does have all right angles. Right and acute angles, so let's label the angles here. We've got obtuse, acute, obtuse, acute. Well, there's no right angles in this one, so that would be a no. 
obtuse and acute angles. So let's see what we've got. Obtuse, obtuse, acute, acute. So that would be a yes. Right and obtuse angles only. So we've got right, right, acute. Ooh, this one's going to be close. That's obtuse, acute. So this has all three angle types, so that would be no. All obtuse angles, in this we know that these normal pentagons, they do have all obtuse angles, so that one would be a yes. Number four, describe a group that the two shapes at the right belong in based on the kind of angles the shape has. So first, let's go ahead and label the angles. Okay, so this is right, right, obtuse, acute, right, right, obtuse, obtuse, acute. Well, they have all three angle types, so I would say it goes in a right, acute, and obtuse angles group. Look at the shapes in the problem four. Where do they belong in the table below? Draw each shape in the column in which it belongs. Explain your answer. Acute and obtuse angles, acute and right angles, obtuse and right angles, acute right and obtuse angles. That's it. So I'm gonna do my best here to draw those shapes. And there we go. That is it for this session. I will see you back for session four.